Hi, this session is on NTFS the dark side, also in Tita Stream. In short, ADS, Proving NT version 3.1, Microsoft empowers users with ADS, which let you attach several files to an already existing file system entry, that is file or directory or even drive, so that no changes in size or other property of chain files are shown, and the files attached in ADS are only known to NTFS, other than the user who attached them obviously. Think what hackers can do with it. Actually, Microsoft introduced this feature because of a similar feature existing in Mac. Windows used it to track down several features like last access, last modified, and other tagged information over the file without changing the properties of the file actually, but chaining them into ADS to the file. But anyone can use ADS to hide its sensitive information and even harmful data like illegal software actually harmful softwares into areas and sell antiviruses and other security softwares to check into areas so this is really harmful. Now I'll be giving a small demo of how to hide your data into areas and how to track down the hidden data into areas. So let's start. So here we have our mainstream file and few other files which we will want them to be hidden. So we'll attach them to mainstream areas. All we need is a command prompt and a mainstream file. I already have an ADS file attached to this mainstream file to show you how to access these ADS files. I want to open that file into notepad to notepad. The name of the mainstream file to which the ADS is attached, colon. Then the name of the ADS file, in this case ADS.txt. Let's check the title, mainstream.txt colon ads.txt. This is the content of my ADS file, whereas the content of actual mainstream file is hello. So, so to get this kind of ADS, all we need to do is use the type command, single to cat command in Unix. Suppose I want to attach this file to .jpg, so type file to .jpg, redirect it to mainstream areas, mainstream 60 colon file to .jpg. As you can give any name, it's not necessary that you give the same name. Similar to copy command. Now I'll be attaching my passwords file to it. So type password.txt, redirecting it, mention first name, colon, pwd.txt. As I said, you can choose any name you want, not necessarily the same name. So now accessing these files, firstly my password file mainstream.txt pw.txt and check the content same similarly accessing the jpeg file there and these main that alternate data streams can be only accessed from the applications to which they are attached. Like if you want to type the content, you won't be allowed. For example, pw.txt which I just opened. It gives an error. So, in this way, you can add attach files to alternate data stream of the mainstream file. You can even attach files to drive and directories as I told. So I'll be attaching this illegal application to my directory. In a similar fashion, type an app redirected target colon from dot exe. Now suppose 
some virus or some harmful application that's in a cotton data stream and I'm going to remove it so that it can be used to destroy or to do any kind of disruption in my system so actually for doing it there are several other tools which I'll be showing you later on but the very lame thing you can do is actually not lame but like very easy thing you can do is using the notepad opening the harmful application then deleting all its content and saving it now you can check it's already gone so even if someone tries to execute it on later on it could do nothing harm So now we'll be moving on to how to counter these things. So for that, we have we have several utilities. The most famous one is hijack this. It has several security features. The one we need is in open the MISC tool sections. We have an ADS spy here. Normally it just scans the Windows base folder. But if we can check this and also do the calculator and check some streams start scanning check your entire drive so this can check any alternate stream present on hard disk aborting it because it will take a very long time the system now we have latch LADS Other tools we have is LATS, LNS, and it's fine. So for LATS first, these are the options it provides. So what I'll be doing is LATS. So here you can see I get the directory slashes to check even in the subdirectories and slash for the verbose output and these are the output it found all the other data streams dashed it even checks for the bytes Allocated to those. Then they just find more options. You can try these. You have to download these. The links are lats of hayswap.te. It's fine from fontstone.com. And I checked this is from 10 micro. So it's at react.ldvice.com so go download these tools check if there is any other data stream which can be harmful delete those and be secure thank you